Hey everybody, quick update on a Saturday um, before it gets any darker and obviously it's incredibly dark now. Um, so I'll show you something that's in the light. This is the bedroom that I was scrambling to kind of get together um, right before our last cold snap. There's Moo. Moo, you're not one of my kitties. You don't live here. Anyway, so um, Moo comes to visit. We're working on capturing him to be spayed and neutered. Um, Anyway, so in this bedroom, uh, basically I put an air barrier up. It's a mechanically attached air barrier. I'll try and take some time to talk about those. Um, that was kind of an interesting scenario, but it was the quickest thing that I could get up with materials that were readily available. Um, there is insulation in some areas, but by and large, the entire area is not quite insulated just yet. And overall, that has already made a very significant difference. I thought maybe I would freeze, but it actually wasn't too bad. So I've just got like a little 1500 watt heater, um, which is completely undersized for this space. I actually got hot um, back when we had our 30 degree cold snap. So uh, it could be worse. I could definitely do better and improve upon it, but um, no complaints here. I will say also, it's kind of nice not to have the crazy wallpaper. Um, I feel more of a sense of calm. Obviously, I don't want to live in a white box forever, but um, I can deal for a while. So um, that is uh, just kind of an update on that room. And I kind of got moving forward on that. Here's what I generally worked on this weekend. Um, this is the office again. And this is what I worked on the last time, just kind of getting about 50% of it down. Um, you can see all those bags behind me. And I'm gonna try and bag up the rest of that dip board that came down today. Cause I like to keep it, keep it as clean as possible, but um, all of those bags have to go downstairs one at a time. Um, and something I didn't say was that I actually got injured. Gosh, a couple of weeks ago, I fell down the back staircase, which, um, well, the outdoor staircase, not the historic one, um, very poorly designed. It's got uneven steps and I was doing it in the dark and I was just a little perky and going a little faster than I should have um, and really kind of banged up my knee. So I've been trying to take it easy and just not push too terribly hard because this is going to take a lot of stamina to take a, a few bags at a time over and over and over and I don't want to overuse that joint while it heals. So here we are. Uh, we'll eventually get there though. Um, anyway, so I'm just pacing myself on that. I had already gotten the demolition done on these two walls. And if you'll remember, this is where we found that this at some point had been, they had tried to make it into a laundry room. So um, that will be taken out. And actually it'll be kind of nice because the sink I have picked out is insane, but if I can get it, I'm really excited about it. Um, it'll be wall mounted, so that will move all this plumbing back in the wall like it originally was. And all of that's right there, and we have great access to it, so could be worse. Um, I will have to replace some of the wood here. That wasn't too much of a surprise. Um, but I did finally get around to pulling all of the nasty stuff out from this, uh, what would have been the window casing. And there was an animal living in it with a lot of animal waste, and it was fragrant, to say the least. So I'm glad to have that out of here. Um, I'm going to have a talk with the cats because they have not done their job to scare this animal away. Um, but at least we'll make it slightly less hospitable. And you can see there's a little bit of daylight there. So obviously I need to work on some air sealing. Um, when the weather gets a little bit better and I get some of this other stuff more livable, one of the next things that I'm going to be in the market for is exterior um, scaffolding. And so the plan is we'll probably put up scaffolding on one side of the house and work on that throughout the year. Um, so that will eventually get repaired, but it might take a little bit. So I'm gonna have to plan for that. This is the part that I did demo on today. You just kind of see this. And so this leaves me with roughly, I think maybe three sheets of jet board, the equivalent of that, that I still have to take down. Um, not too terribly bad. It will be nice because once that down, all of the dust and stuff will be significantly better. Uh, it's really tough on your lungs and as you know, we're trying to ration the mask. And so um, I have a few, but I want to be respectful and not just overuse those um, because I also can't get any more. So anyways, um, I did wear a mask for that uh, because there really is, you know, hantavirus and everything else that I want to be careful about. Um, this was not a surprise. It was actually kind of fun to open it up and finally see it. So just like the kitchen below, it should look kind of familiar. This is the flu. 
and uh, this is how they heated the two rooms on this side of the house. Um, in fact, they also could have used a wood burning stove downstairs as well. Um, so they would have probably had like a little pot belly stove, a little wood burning stove here in this room because it was the smallest one. This is the one that mom has told me over and over that in the winter, everybody would come and sleep in this room together um, to kind of conserve all of that warmth because it is smaller. Uh, makes good sense. This will hopefully be a nice little cozy retreat for me uh, because this will be the office that I work in um, sometimes seven days a week. So hopefully I can make it a nice little oasis as well. Um, but I actually probably will go back with the uh, heater that I'm using right now. It's actually undersized for the room. Um, and so the plan was that I actually probably would put it over here. Um, so I'll probably do that. And um, there would have been actually a little pipe that went into that pie plate looking thing. Funny story, when I was a child, um, we had a flu as well in our kitchen. And I remember growing up wondering why we stored all of our pie plate, you know, um, on the wall like that. Um, it's not a pie plate, but that was kind of a cute thought that I had when I was a kid. Um, another thing that I posted on the Facebook page is, I hope you can see it because it's kind of dark, um, that wire that was just completely exposed, very dangerous. Um, it was just right behind uh, the drywall. So there was no protection for it. It was not within the actual stud space of the wall. Don't do that. <laughs> um, so I actually got really lucky because I had thought about um, putting a curtain bracket across there before um, I started the demo on this room back when I originally moved into this room. Thank goodness I didn't drive a nail through it. That would have been so dangerous. So um, look out for that. Don't, don't let the electrician that did this <laughs> do your place. Um, anyway, so I'm hoping to maybe get some of this taken down, if not all of it, uh, in the next week and maybe get a little bit of this cleaned up. It'll feel so nice, but I know it's going to take me a while to get all these bags out of here. Um, but just, uh, slow and steady wins the race and try to conserve my, my joints and my energy and all that good stuff. So you guys have a terrific rest of your Saturday evening and we will talk soon.